Let's go. Hi travelers, I'm back with a new video. Tips for flying during the pandemic. Now, this is a video that I've thought a lot about and I learned a lot on my trip to Colorado. Vlogs that I'll be releasing soon. And I wanted to share the knowledge with you all. Before we get started, I want you guys to hit that big red subscribe button for me. Thanks. Now, a quick disclaimer. I'm in no way encouraging you guys to fly. Flying is dangerous right now, and this video is for those who have decided that they will be taking that risk. These tips also do not guarantee that you won't contract COVID, but they're great ways to minimize the risk. Right, let's go. Make sure you know about travel mandates, test mandates, quarantine mandates, etc. If you need a test, keep a copy of it on you. Avoid large social gatherings or any other unnecessary activities that put you or anyone in your party at risk for COVID-19 at least two weeks prior to your trip. Do not travel if someone in your party is sick or has been exposed to someone with COVID-19. Know the COVID-19 rates where you live and where you're going. Use the mobile versions of your boarding passes as opposed to the paper. You're minimizing touch points and you're saving trees. Just like mobile boarding passes, use contactless methods of reservations and payment. I recommend having at least two cards on your phone's wallet app and having all of your hotel reservations stored somewhere in your phone. Don't assume anything. Now, I heard the groans from you spontaneous travelers, and honestly, I feel you guys. Spur of the moment vacations are a favorite of mine too, but in these times, you can't really leave anything to chance. Call ahead to restaurants, hotels, resorts, attractions, anywhere you have on your itinerary, and ask them how they're operating compared to how they were operating before. I know all of the hotels I've stayed at are only offering housekeeping twice a week now. Try to book hotels that have flexible cancellation policies and easy to follow guidelines for COVID-19. Bring extra supplies. Medical masks are obviously best, and the CDC recommends your hand sanitizer having over a 60% alcohol rate. TSA is currently allowing one 12 ounce container of hand sanitizer per person up until further notice. Antibacterial wipes don't hurt either. Be flexible. There's a higher chance than normal that things won't pan out the way you want them to. So just don't let the unexpected take the joy out of your vacation. Try to book hotels that have flexible cancellation policies and easy to follow guidelines for COVID-19. Be choosy about where you're staying. If a hotel's COVID-19 guidelines aren't clear, that could be a possible red flag. Don't hesitate to call the place where you're staying and ask them what their guidelines are or any other questions you have. It benefits everyone. I shouldn't even have to say this, but keep your mask on at all times. Like I said before, medical masks are obviously best. The time you spend in the actual airport may as well be riskier than the flight itself, so don't forget to take precautions every leg of your travel. Avoid crowds and stay six feet apart from people not in your party at all times. This one might sound oddly specific, but while you're going through TSA, empty the items from your pockets into your carry-ons instead of into the bins if they're items that can be emptied into carry-ons and don't have to be in the bins. TSA actually recommends this as it reduces checkpoints. Use drive through curbside pickup, and delivery options for food. At the airport, if it's possible, bring your own food. Most restaurants are following safety protocols, but you can never go wrong with bringing your own food because you know how it was handled. Wash your hands often for at least 20 seconds. The happy birthday song twice, remember? Enroll in TSA PreCheck. This is something I told everyone even before the pandemic because it just makes everything so much smoother and easier. But now, during the pandemic, it even reduces touch points. Test even after you come back. You probably don't know half of the ways you've been exposed to something on your vacation, so it's best to test even after you come back for everyone's safety and your own peace of mind. Lastly, check out the CDC's own guidance on this. I can't fit everything they have said about the coronavirus into a video without it being a few hours long, which I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't stick around to watch. Um, best to check TSA's website as well. I'll link both of these resources below. All right, travelers, that's all I have for this video. I hope these tips helped you guys out. Smash that like button and press that big red subscribe button if you haven't already, if you wanna see more content from me in the future. If you have any questions, and I mean any, drop anything in the comments and I'll be sure to respond to those. I'm in Tahiti right now, so maruru bon voyage, and I hope to see you guys again in the future.